Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com. I just want to talk about sort of like a libertarian take on sort of a progressive view in a sense. Um, now, the progressive worldview, if, if you're not familiar with it. So I, I spend a lot of time trying to understand worldviews, not based on sort of how I what I feel they end up doing. That's what a lot of people do. They define how they look at other ideologies that are not theirs based on what they feel they end up doing, not sort of how they, how the people within that ideology see themselves, okay? So, like, the left character, you know, has a sort of very fascist char- characterization of the right, which isn't what the right feels about themselves. Oftentimes, they feel themselves as sort of preserving tradition, traditions that sort of help society stay together. That's sort of how they see themselves, Um but from one, but someone might say, "Hey, they're 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 being you know culturally oppressive and whatnot from the outside." And from the right, we'll look at the left and say, "Okay, they're a bunch of you know uh, communists," and and say, "Hey, you know, you know, they're just looking to redistribute society for the sake of redistribution, and they just you know want uh, they they you know all these things." When from internally, like on the left, what they're looking at is they're just saying, hey, we see certain inequities in the world that we feel are unjust and we're just seeking to correct them. We're not necess- they don't necessarily see themselves as trying to limit anyone's anything. They, they just basically believe that they, they, they need to concentrate large scale efforts to correct certain sort of problems they see okay and they feel like that those problems not being corrected are actually what's sort of hurting society from growing to where it can grow and going to larger scales far as um the variety of things okay so again there's a difference between sort of like how people see themselves versus how other people see them okay because people will see will take actions sort of insularly based on what they view they're looking to do, but not really think about, like, how they're doing it. They're just thinking about what they're working towards. And then, in the end, they end up doing the stuff, but when from the outside looking in, it looks like, okay, this is what they're really trying to achieve, or this is what their mantra is. <clears throat> and I think it's important to understand people as they see themselves, because if you're looking to communicate with them, you need to communicate with them at their level. <clears throat> Although, again, there are things that I, I do take from sort of a progressive worldview and I think are things that can be adapted into a libertarian worldview um, or I think are things that are already part of a libertarian worldview in a sense. Like, sort of when I take a look at it, like, the problem is this focus on inequality, the focus on imbalances. So they take a look at sort of people having power over others and what they're seeing is that the source of that inequity of power of to be something has to do with sort of inequality and inequality could be a material inequality, a cultural inequality, these kind of things. So the idea is that they, oh, well, we can correct this by balancing the things out. Problem is, equality, equality can't be reached unless you're pulling the people who are at the top down and pulling people from the bottom up, but you, then everyone ends up in the middle. And there's going to be people who could have done more, who could have been more. So as a libertarian, to me, it's not about equality. It's about an untethering. Yes, I do believe there's injustice in the world. And I do believe there are government institutions. I believe there are cultural institutions. I believe there are social institutions that limit people's potential. People are tethered as individuals based on the institutions that are around them, based on the reality, the, 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 the real world around them, and how individuals interact, what they believe, what they want not, of the time. Okay, and I do believe as a libertarian, to the extent that I can, I want to push against those tethers and untether individuals to be able to exceed their maximum potential. That's what I want. I don't want people to be equal. I want people to be able to reach their maximum potential no matter who they are. Um... And that does mean removing those barriers. So when I'm having a political conversation about government policy, I'm focusing on the government barriers that tether people. But those aren't the only things. There are social and cultural barriers, but I don't expect politics to solve those. That's that's sort of the big difference. 
I don't want government sitting there trying to manufacture culture and social norms and whatnot. But it doesn't mean I don't want social norms and culture to change or evolve. But I believe that is what is sort of the right evolutions. What are the evolutions that are sustainable? Like anything else is determined through a market process. So what I want to do is encourage people to advocate, to discuss cultural ideas, to discuss social norms, to try out new norms um, or make the case for their old norms and have that rich cultural social discussion, that pluralistic discussion between individuals that will lead to changes that are sustainable, um, that will be broadly accepted without coercion, okay, versus coercing changes, which oftentimes causes changes to happen. Actually, in the attempt to make things happen faster, you end up making things slower because you cause sort of deep-seated divisions in society. So again, I do think there are injustices. I do think there are injustices that fall across sort of uh, fake, well, in a sense, arbitrary lines between individuals, you know, such as like race, gender, sex, um, sexuality. There are aspects of these things. So while these things are just arbitrary and as individuals, we are so much more than those things. The reality is that are, there are sort of social norms and cultural norms and predispositions of individuals that lead to these aspects of people to tethering them to limiting what they could be what they can be what they want to be um and to the extent i want to push against those i want to push against the things that would limit anyone um that is practicing sort of a non-violent peaceful coexistence but again, I'm not asking for government to have to wage the cultural and social battle, but I am waging against a battle against in politics against government policy that would tether people, that would limit that cultural and social evolution from happening, and also economic evolutions from happening from the way we commerce and train and trade with each other. So sort of hopefully that kind of ties together a lot of things I think a lot of libertarians have been wanting to express, wanting to say as far as how they feel about sort of coalescing all these different ideas, the idea that people are diverse, that people are conservative, that people are progressive. But at the end of the day, you know, as a libertarian, there's a space for everybody, not because I believe everybody's right, or I believe, you know, every single way of living can perfectly coexist. But the only way to figure out how much the best, where we can have the most people coexisting, the most diversity possible is to let the market figure it out. To just let people interact with each other freely and let people sort of piece themselves together and discover what works and what doesn't work. Okay, and it's not a pretty process. It's, it's not an orderly process, but it is a, a process of discovery that in the long run achieves better results and creates much more knowledge about what, we can, what does and doesn't work and about the current situation. So, um... I don't know. That's just my thoughts at the moment. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Have a great day. Enjoy. This is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com. And ciao.